So I'm just making some pumpkin soup today. So instead of chopping it all up, which I hate doing, I just cut out big chunks of it, spray a little bit of spray oil on it, and then just put salt and pepper over the top of that and put it in the oven to slow roast. That way I can just scoop it out and add it to my soup later on. So it's quicker and easier and I don't have to chop. So I'm just making my pumpkin soup. I've roasted my pumpkin. I'm not sure how much I've got there, um, but I will weigh it out. Um, I'm using, um, I don't like that lipstick on my hand. Uh, four cups of water, some vegetable stock, um, a teaspoon or so of macadamia oil, and in here I've got the onions and the garlic, and I'm just going to fry them off. And then I'm going to add in the pumpkin and the stock and the water and just let that all come together and then I will whip it all up. And I roast it like this because it's just so much easier to scoop out and not have to stand and chop and peel pumpkin for pumpkin soup. So yeah, you just literally scoop it out and whack it in. Too easy. So that's my roast pumpkin gone in there. It was um, 1.4 kilos, which is exactly what I wanted. And I'm just going to put in some thyme leaves. Water, and I'm going to add two teaspoons of vegetable stock or you could use chicken stock or whatever. There we go. And I'm just going to let that simmer around for about 10 minutes just till it's basically heated through because it's all cooked already. And then I'm going to blitz it with my whizzy thing. I don't know what it's called. My stick blender. That's what it's called. And then I'm just going to um, work out my calories in this and portion it up and then straighten the freezer. Okay, so the next one I'm going to make for lunches is um, fried rice. Um, last week I did this as well, but I used ham instead of chicken. And last week I used just rice, but this week, because it was so yummy last week, I decided to do cauliflower rice and brown rice. So I've got one cup of brown rice, three cups of cauliflower rice. Um, I think the, the rice is very high in calories, um, still very good for you, but um, I didn't have enough. I could have eaten double. So the cauliflower rice will cut down the calories and bulk up the meal a bit more so I can eat more. Um, this is four eggs scrambled, um, one chicken breast, um, and I've got 300 grams of a frozen peas, corn, and carrot mix. And in this little jar, I've mixed up these things and some rice vinegar that's not there. So I've put all that in there and mixed it up. So all I will do now is put the chicken in, um, put the veggies and rice in, cook that around, add the sauce, add the egg back in, and once again, Weigh it all up and portion it up for meals. Yummo! Okay, so this mix here is um, peppermint balls that I have blitzed together a heap of ingredients for. Um, they are super delicious. I haven't made them before, but I just had a little taste. So yum. It's actually out of um, Sophie Gwidlin's Eat Clean, Live Lean recipe book. She's amazing. Um, follow her on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat. She's really, really great. So the um, recipe is here. So it has um, peppermint essence, um, protein powder, prunes, cashews, almonds. I use sultanas, oats. Um, I use cacao powder. I didn't put the honey in and I didn't have muscle milk, whatever that is. Um, so I left those two out and now I will just roll these into balls and roll them in coconut and store them in the fridge and Sophie does not tell us calories and I know I go on a bit about it but I kind of like to know so I will I actually weighed all the ingredients as I put them in so I can divide it up depending how many balls I get and work out about how much calories a ball is generally they work out around 100 calories which is quite a bit but I mean that's all awesome food that's in there so really really healthy and super yum
So I've just finished all my meal prep for this week. I made pumpkin soup, which I have put into these bags here. It made up um, seven serves in total. Um, that one's for tomorrow, but these will go nicely stacked flat in the freezer. Um, worked out to be only 72 calories for a 300 gram serve. So that is amazing. So I'll have something else with that to help fill me up. These are my fried rice. Um, they, they got um, 200 grams of rice in there and I made six serves of those. So there's 200 calories per dish. And I used the cauliflower rice and brown rice to sort of bulk it up. Last week I only had 140 grams of fried rice with brown rice. So this gives me more um, for less calories. And these are the peppermint balls. They are so super delicious. They worked out, that whole mix made 30 balls and they worked out to be 90 calories each. So it's pretty high for a little snack like that, but so yum. Hi guys, hope this helped this week um, seeing my meal prep. Um, hope you like the recipes and give them a try. Um, it's really exciting to be doing this vlog and sort of taking photos and um, talking about what I do with my week, with my meals and my exercise. Um, so now that I have done all my meals, they're sitting here on the bench, I now need to clean up the rest of this kitchen because it literally looks like a bomb has hit it. There's the stove, there's the bench, there's the sink, it just goes on and on and on. So yay, now I get to clean up. So I've just made my overnight oats for the morning and in there I've got, um, I just do um, a smallish amount. So I've just got rolled oats, 25 grams of that. Um, I've got 50 grams of blueberries in there, a dash of vanilla extract, 40 mils of coconut milk, 80 mils of skim milk, teaspoon of chia seeds and I decided to put some shredded coconut in today so and if you don't have a set of electronic kitchen scales get yourself some because it's just really good to know exactly how much you're putting in something um, the recipe calls for double this amount so like 50 grams of oats and then double of everything else was well over 450 calories for breakfast and that's just too much for me so I halved it it's still heaps um, and I just add more milk in the morning because that will soak up most of that overnight. And then I eat it up tomorrow morning and it's delicious. You can have it warm if you like. I prefer it cold. That might change as it gets colder. But yeah, it's delicious and it's really easy and it's on the go. Enjoy. I've just realized I forgot to put in some maple syrup. I use 100% um, pure maple syrup, not the flavoured stuff. It is more expensive, but it is not flavoured. It is actually pure maple syrup. So into mine, I just do one teaspoon, which is five mils. 